What's up everybody out there? Welcome back to yet another Addicted Fishing Versus video. Today we're out here on our local lake. Me and Marlon decided, hey, let's make it a challenge. Let's see who can catch more fish, one off the bottom, or two with an addicted fix float. So we're out here, we're catching stalker trout. It's exactly noon right now, so we're gonna give 20 minutes and whoever comes out with the most fish on the end of their line, like this little guy right here, is gonna be the victor. I'm using mouse tails. Mouse tails under an addicted float. What are you using, Jordan? Some power eggs. Normal, regular power bait scent. Already is working, so let's see how this goes. Oh, 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 oh. How the f did I miss that? Here we go, here we go, boy. One minute into the challenge, everybody. Marlon's already got a biter. The key really to these mouse tails is to give yourself a ton of leader and uh, you want that thing to sink. You want that, that thing to sink and get that action as it's sinking. That's the key. That's the key, boys and girls. There's a bite, everybody. There's a bite. Sabotage. I hope everybody saw that out there. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he just enticed him. Oh, dude, that thing's huge. It's a monster. It's a monster, dude. Oh my god. It's a nice one. Nicer than any fish you ever caught. <laughs> That's definitely bigger than oh, he is. Kicking my butt. Holy crap. Oh god. Dude, that thing is ripping that Okuma. Like, I'm all bendo, man. Oh, there. Oh, oh that's yeah. a freaking fatty. That's why we use 10 pound test out here, boys and girls. <laughs> Ladies and gents, there it is. Fish number one of the challenge. Marlon, uh, Marlon has a lot of making up to do for that. Good thing we're not going by weight. What a beautiful rainbow trout. Well, I haven't got to my limit yet, so we're gonna actually keep this little guy. Well, one down, we're about five minutes into the challenge. I don't even think I'm gonna have to switch my bait. Nope, still on there, still good to go. Let's get it back out there. I feel a little bit of domination coming on here. So the real difference in between what Marlon and I are doing, we're still fishing right in the same water column, in the same strike zone using different baits and stuff, but mine's on the bottom sitting up above the water, or above the weed line and everything. Marlon's is drifting down, hanging above it, so. Did you see that? Like, bro, my bobber was buried. I need a trailer hook or something. This is unbelievable. They're tail biting. Got him, Sean. Got him. Got him. Oh, Jordan, guess what, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ain't quite what Jordan caught, but I'll take him. Oh, my God. We're going to have to keep this one, folks. <laughs> Little? Oh my gosh, for people that do not, for people that say trout magnets or mouse tails don't work, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, everybody, one to one. This is head to head combat. We're about 15 minutes in, not even, probably 10 minutes in. I didn't check the clock yet, but we're both getting slammed. Marlon just got a really nice one on the mouse tail. I've got one really giant fish to the boat. I'm winning in weight by now, but we're still at the same count, and that's all that matters. What well, isn't cool? This this hinders you, folks. When this <laughs> when this happens, it's kind of like a disadvantage going on right now. Got him. Got him. Two one, everybody. Two. They what? They your schedule. Yeah, yeah exactly. Probably. There it is, guys. Fish number two. Kicking Marlon's butt out here. Fish number two off the bottom. Just a tiny little guy. But there he is. Gonna save him. He's not gonna make it. He's not as big as we would like, but we're not gonna waste him either, so. Come on, boys. Let's get one right here. Fixed my mouse tail. It's ready to be eaten. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna quit. How in the hell am I missing all those, Sean? Let's take Jordan's advice, guys, and wacky rig it. So basically what Jordan's talking about, everyone, is I was like threading it up on there, but instead, let's just wacky rig this right through the center of this worm here and try it that way. See if Jordan's right. Jordan might have just given me a tip that's gonna make him lose. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, folks. Here we go, we're getting a bobber down. He's taking it, he's taking it, he's taking it. Come on, eat it, dude. Eat it. <laughs> he's like swimming with it. We've probably seen like Oh my god, eat it. <laughs> oh, got him. Got him. Oh, look at that. Took a tip from the pro, everybody. Watch this. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Oh, oh, oh. This isn't going to count if you don't land it. Ooh, over the ropes. Over the ropes. Way to go, dude. Two, two. Two, two. I think he had that the whole time. But <laughs> he just. Damn it. Definitely going to have to keep this one. Oh, oh, you came off. You unhooked. You snagged me. You literally unhooked him on purpose. <laughs> I saw you. That was a giant. That was the biggest trout you've ever seen. Just slid down my line and hooked me. It reminds me of that one steelhead. I like episode. it. You see that? That's how. That's how we do it, dude. It's like. It's like that one steelhead episode where I hooked the 23-pound steelhead and you unhooked it with your freaking spinner. It's called strategy. Strategy. It's called sabotage, man. It's called the anarchy. Strategy, boys. We're going some more oh, completely different. Oh! Coming at us, dude. Little! Come on, man. Jesus, dude. He almost jumped out of the boat. <laughs> there it is, guys. Number three. Three to two, right? Damn it. Guys, I'm kicking butt. And I think, again, everybody out here fishing on the bottom seems to be doing a little bit better. We switched, I think Marlon went with that mouse tail presentation, mainly just to be having something different out there. They're both working good, but these are really, these power eggs especially, are just getting nailed as soon as they hit the bottom. Oh, we got a jumper. We got a jumper. Six minutes left. Six minutes left, it's tied up, boys and girls. There he is, folks, on the old mouse tail. Dang it, three to three. Dude, we've got about three minutes left, everybody. Mouse tails are coming through on the clutch. Come on, let's go, boys. Come on, come on, Trout. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can't end it on a freaking draw. I think if I think if it ends and at the timer ends and we haven't both caught a fish, it's just the first person to get Sudden one. Sudden death over time. Yep, first person to get one. If we end, if the timer ends. We're doing a last minute desperate, desperate move, everybody. I'm adding a little garlic, white power bait, right to the end of that there. Everybody. Have, oh my god, I'm getting bit at the 30 minute mark. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, he's on there still. Guys, we're at the at the buzzer. We're about to roll over into sudden death overtime. Marlon just sabotaged another one of my fish. <laughs> it was on there. There's no rules, dude. There's only one rule, there is no rules. So at this point, we've just rolled over the timer. 20 minutes total. It is sudden death overtime. I think this guy's still there. Yep. He's coming for me. 
Oh my god, they're really good. Oh man, you're playing with my heartstrings here, fish. Oh, there he goes. He's swimming away with it. What if he eats yours and my bait at the same time? And it continues the stalemate. Here we go. Oh my god. Not again. That wasn't intentional. That was all an accident. Oh my god. You missed him? Oh my god. You guys. This is really, it's almost dark on us out here. We've run about 10 minutes over time limit to try to break the sudden death. It's not going well. It's not going well. We're both getting bites, nothing's sticking. Maybe I'll take my one piece of power bait off again. I put, put a third chunk on there. It's increased the bite, but it's killed the hookup ratio. I can't get bit anymore. It's like, I, I, I'm just so nervous about it, you know? Like I get bit and I'm so excited. Oh my god, you're getting bit! You're on this! Oh! <laughs> I turned away for one second. I got one. I got one! I got one! I got the winning fish! <laughs> my, Mar Marlon's bobber was literally directly over my line, you guys. And he got bit, missed it, and I instantly got bit by probably the exact same fish. So there you have it, guys. Today, at least, in the winter time, out here fishing the Stalker Lake, fishing from the bottom is obviously more effective than fishing from the surface. So if you guys like this video, be sure to go down here and drop that thumbs up and comment below with the other kind of versus videos you want to see. If you want to see more videos just like this one, go up here and click this link to this next video. Go down here, be sure to subscribe, turn your bells on and give us a thumbs up and comment below and you can be the comment of the day like this guy right here. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. You stay fishy. We'll see you out there.